Hey, what's up, yo, babies? The Boss King, baby, back here with another video. Hey, yo, y'all see today, bro? Well, we gotta be here, you know what I'm saying? We got some of that action, you know? Hold on. Hold on. I think I don't think I'm fine. But anyways, y'all see, bro, we got 10 shocking moments in MMA and boxing. You know what I mean? Hey, let's get into it, bro. Before we get into it, y'all make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the Royal Babies. Biggest illest. I'm not supposed to say that. Join the Royal Babies because I am Royal. You are Royal. Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. 10 shocking moments in fighting. Hey. Over the years of thousands of bouts oh. across hundreds of disciplines, it's no surprise that there have been plenty of shocking moments in organized fighting. From the outright confusing to the unbelievably crazy, Aim. through to those moments that just no one expected, there have been times when Aim. fighters have done things that left the crowd's jaws on the floor. In this video... Bro, this has to be the most famous riff in, in, in UFC, bro. He's the only riff I've... I, like, bro, I don't know, bro. Like, he's the most famous riff, but I gotta the floor. say... In this video, we're going to look at 10 of these moments. Keep watching to see hey. if your favorite is on the hey. list. Before we get into I get our list, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one. You know what I'm saying? Just do the same, do the same, bro. Hit the subscribe button. But for now, let's look at 10 shocking moments in fighting. Number 10, Austin Batra gets disqualified. In September 2018, Austin Batra appeared to have knocked out his opponent, Perry Hayer, to retain his welterweight championship in the Amateur Battlefield Fight League. Hey. The fight, held in British Columbia, however, took an odd turn as with Hayer on the mat apparently def- Bro, this, this is in Canada, right? Bro, this, that's crazy. Why, why the hell did he do that? Turn as with Hayer on the mat apparently defeated, Batra took to the skies in an airborne elbow attack that Damn. wouldn't have been out of place in WWE. Pretty sure it's worth it. <laughs> Batra was disqualified and Hayer took the title in the strangest of circumstances. Bro. Number nine, Mike Tyson bites Evander Holyfield. Damn, Evander bro. Holyfield defeating Mike Tyson in their first bout in 1996 was a shocking moment in itself due to the fact that Tyson was a heavy favorite going into the fight. A 36-year-old Holyfield was making a lackluster comeback in the heavyweight division, but managed to take Tyson's WBA title away from him against the odds. The rematch, however, was far more shocking. With Holyfield dominating the fight going into the third round, Aye. Tyson retaliated with a bite to Holyfield's ear. Amazingly, the fight continued, and it was only when Tyson bit his opponent again that he was disqualified. Number eight, fastest UFC knockout. Bro, why, why did he do that? In July 2019, history hey, was made. Fastest UFC, that has, it, I, I promise you, it has to be like two seconds. Because Conor McGregor did it in how long? Was it 9, 14? I'm not really sure, but he, he knocked that. You know, he knocked that nigga out. UFC 239. UFC veteran Jorge Masvidal faced hey. previously undefeated Ben Askren in a ben welterweight Askren. Ben Askren is going to fight against um, Conor. I mean, uh, Jake Paul. Counted in seconds. Hey, you got, you got shorties, bro. My eyes always go to the shorties. I always see the shorties. Seconds you know what I mean? Hey. Two hands. The fight lasted five seconds when Masvidal five. launched a flying knee that connected oh, cleanly with Askren's neck this. as he attempted to grab his opponent's legs. The fight propelled Masvidal back into title contention and marked the beginning of the end for Askren. Dang. Number seven, Ali versus Liston. We all know That's Muhammad Ali picture, as one bro. of the greatest boxers of all time, but in 1964, he was still a young boxer with potential, but with a huge career ahead of him. Then, he beat Sonny Liston in 1964 to take two titles off of him and mark himself as the new dominant fighter of the heavyweight scene. In 1965, the two had a rematch, and although the result wasn't shocking, Ali won the fight. The way in which he sent Liston to the canvas was. 
Only two minutes into the fight, the referee stopped the bout, concluding that Ali had won by knockout. What was shocking about this is that many people didn't see a punch land that caused the knockout. Bro. This led Ali to scream at Liston to continue. The fight was... No, I, I, wait, hold on, how? Scream at Liston to continue. Wait, I don't... I, the fight was stopped. I'm confused. And since then... She confusing There have been allegations that Liston threw the fight. Number six, McGregor Nurmagomedov post-fight brawl. Hey, I remember this one. The McGregor Nurmagomedov fight at UFC 229 was one of the most anticipated fights in history. The undefeated Russian Eagle hey. faced the notorious Irish fighter, and in the buildup, insults were traded over everything from family to religion. After the Russian won the fight, the two camps went. I told you, bro. This riff, this this riff right here is, is everywhere. He's everywhere. I don't know what's, his, what's that nigga name, bro. The two bro. camps went this at point, each other, famous and a mass the... brawl broke out in what was one of the craziest moments in UFC history. We're about halfway through our list now, and just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now on with our list. Number five. Jake LaMotta takes a dive. Hey, Jake, Jake LaMotta. LaMotta is well known outside the sport of boxing as being the subject of Martin Scorsese's masterpiece, Raging Bull. In the 1940s, he was a young boxer on the rise, but to improve his profile and standing even more, he agreed to take a dive for the mob. At the time, the mob had full control over the sport and his prize was a title shot as well as $20,000. In the fight against Billy Fox, LaMotta carried his opponent through into the fourth round before letting the light-hitting Oklahoma fighter defeat him by TKO. It was an obvious fix, and the FBI would investigate LaMotta years later. Number four, right. Matt Serra shocks George St. Pierre. In 2007, George St. Pierre was a giant in UFC and arguably the biggest name in the sport. Matt Serra, however, had won the Ultimate Fighter reality show and had never knocked an opponent out. So when these two met, there should have been only one winner. However, about three minutes into the fight, Serra caught St. Pierre behind the ear with a right hook. He was unable to recover and was pounded into submission, marking what is still considered as one of the greatest upsets in UFC hey, yo, history. That's, that's crazy. Number three, Hasim Rahman versus Lennox Lewis. Hasim. Lennox Lewis was at the peak of his oh. powers in 2001, and after three oh. successful title <laughs> defenses, a fight against little-known heavyweight Hasim Rahman should have been the fourth. However. Rahman shocked the world by knocking the London-based hey. fighter out in the fifth round and taking all of his belts to become the undisputed heavyweight champion. Lewis hey. regained his titles in a rematch, but the first fight is still up there as one of the biggest shots ah, in the world. That, <laughs> hey, yo, look, look at the irony here, bro. Look how he lands right there. His, ha his head lands under the crown, like in the, in the middle, bro. Y'all see that? That, that's actually crazy. There that's is crazy. one of the biggest shocks in the division. Number two, Dillashaw stuns Barrow. Hey. In 2014, UFC bantamweight champion Renan Barrow was undefeated for nine years and 32 fights. He was never supposed to headline UFC 173, but this all changed when, for various reasons, main events and a potential opponent changed. In came T.J. Dillashaw, a relative unknown who outperformed the veteran in all areas. In the fifth round, Dillashaw hit. Y'all see this riff? <laughs> Y'all see this riff? Bro, he's in. Morale with right. a head kick and finished the job with multiple strikes to take the title. Number one, Benny Perrette is pummeled to death on live TV. To death. Emil Griffith and Benny Perrette had fought twice Bro, like to death? twice I... before. Oh, hell no. Their third bout was aired live on ABC and would be remembered for all the wrong reasons. 
The fight changed the face of boxing and is cited as one of the reasons why mainstream networks refused to air bouts years after. In the 12th round, Griffith took the advantage with Perret on the ropes and hit him 20 times without reply. Perret would go on to die from his injuries 10 days later. Bro, bro, that's crazy. You know, it reminds me of what, Rock, Rocky, is it Rocky? I don't remember which one when uh, Creed like passed away after the fight. You, y'all remember though, you know what I mean? But hey, it's crazy. And the sport It's crazy. When was Paul Creed, Paul Creed, right? But y'all remember, y'all know the movie. Bro. Forced to you change know, if you're watching rules, this, you must know. As well as movie. start broadcasting away from the spotlight. Hey, bro. So that's it for our list of shocking moments in fighting. Are there any we've not included? Please let us know in the comments below. Hey, bro, that's crazy. But anyways, hey, you know what I mean? Life, life, life is what it is, bro. I mean, not to be insensitive or anything, but you understand, bro. Anyways, that be said, that is it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I did kind of enjoy it. You know what I mean? Kind of. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe and join the royal babies. Because I am royal, you are royal. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it for the video. Peace.